Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and I'm back with another craft. This time I was inspired to do a, an Easter craft and uh, something that I did quite a few years ago was to use a fabric stiffener and I decided that I wanted to do that again. It's been a long time and uh, it worked great and I've always liked the idea and I've always wanted to do something again. I just hadn't done so, but now that I'm here ready for Easter, I thought, why not do something with a fabric stiffener? So this is a, this is called Stiffy, and it is a fabric stiffener. It's very easy to use. It's water-based formula. Uh, you can use a little sponge brush or a regular type of brush to apply to the fabric, ribbon, or whatever it is that you wish to have stiffened. Now, um, I've gone to the back of this because uh, I wanted to make sure that I was going to use it properly. From what I remember, I had just dunked the item into into a bowl with the fabric stiffener and uh, I molded the item and then just basically let it dry. But I couldn't remember how long it took and I've read the back here and it doesn't tell me. It really doesn't. It just says to put this on the product, which is your ribbon or fabric or doily or whatever it is that you want to become stiff and hard and just basically squeeze out any excess or brush it on and just let it dry but it doesn't say how long so um we're gonna find out all right so this is the product the fabric stiffener and what do i want to stiffen well i thought i'd make like a little basket and in order to form a little basket i am going to need a balloon this is going to be fun i'm going to need a balloon and it doesn't it doesn't matter what uh size or what kind of balloons or whatever what color um I got this little packet, it has eight of them in there. They're happy birthday balloons, but that doesn't matter because uh, we're basically gonna pop these when we're done. So I'm gonna blow this up to the size of a little basket that I want, and I'll show you that in a minute. And to form the basket, I am going to use uh, some cotton thread, basically like a yarn. That's what this is. Let me put this closer. It's this Crafters Secret Cotton, and I got this at Hobby Lobby. You can get it at any uh, craft store. You can go to Walmart as well. You can use a, any other type of uh, cottony string, or you know, you can use fabric fabric pieces like laces and form your your. That's giving me an idea now that I'm sitting here uh, <laughs> to form the basket. But I'm going to use this here, and uh, I'm going to be pretty much. What would the word be? I'm going to be dousing it in this, I guess. Drowning in it. I don't know. Anyway, but I want to wrap this blow, blown up balloon with this, but that I need something to place my balloon after. So I've got these uh, nice little containers. They're just little plant, little plastic plant, plant, planters, pots. That's what it is. And I got these at the Dollar Tree. They were only a dollar. Not that they were really cute, but I'm going to use them for this project and so that the glue, so it'll hold a balloon in here and all of that, but the glue will drip into here in the excess. Um, but I've also got a, my little piece of wood here covered in some paper, so I don't make a mess on my nice little grid uh, tabletop here. So I got these, you can use any plastic bowl, really anything that you have that's disposable, like a little foil aluminum one also. Uh, like I said, this was only a dollar and I feel like I can probably clean it up afterwards and use it for to toss some of my craft items in, like my scissors and things like that. But in the meantime, I got two of them because I wasn't sure uh, how I was gonna form my basket. Now, um, I'm gonna blow this up and I will be back. All right, so I'm back and uh, I've blown up my, my balloon. And this is a 12 inch uh, helium quality uh, latex balloon. And I, don't, I didn't blow it up exactly the 12 inches. This is about maybe eight or nine inches in diameter and I feel like this is big enough uh, to form the bottom of my my basket so basically the size of this balloon the bottom part is basically the size of the of the basket that I want to form out of string now before I continue I want to tell you that I want to decorate this basket and I will be showing you how I do that uh, once it is it has become stiff and dry and then I can decorate it. So I did get um, some styrofoam that I will place inside of my basket. And uh, I've actually got this little Easter grass that I'm also gonna use to cover up this uh, styrofoam so you can't see it. And the reason that I, I'm, I'm adding styrofoam on the inside of my basket is because I've got some flowers here. Some pretty flowers. 
I've got a little, um, here we go. I've got some flowers here, like this pretty rose, and these pretty little pink ones here, and these blue, kind of a turquoise color, and more of this uh, other colors here that I'm going to use uh, to decorate my basket. Whoa, hold on. Okay, and I've also got some ribbons here. I got a, I've got this iridescent one that I already had here at home. Um, if this is a, this is a wire edged ribbon, kind of a sheer. Let me open this up here. Kind of a sheer ribbon. It can be used for any occasion, and I like the iridescence on it. I may use that. I'm not quite sure because I was also at the Dollar Tree, and uh, oh by the way, these flowers, the large, the long stem ones, I got them at, uh, including this cotton. Isn't that gorgeous? I got these at Hobby Lobby, and these smaller uh, clusters here, I got these from the Dollar Tree. They're really cute. It was only a dollar, and they've got five or six flowers on each of these uh, little bunches, and uh, these are great for little, small, little inexpensive crafts, so I got those. So I'm going to use that for sure, but also at the Dollar Tree, I found some Easter ribbon, and this one's pretty. Look at that. It's really pretty. Look. Easter colors on it and also I got the smaller one that has like little Easter eggs all over it it's really cute uh, also at the Dollar Tree which again it was only a dollar is this package and this package has five like Easter eggs on a little wood pick let me open that up I'm gonna make noise here sorry look at that it's a little Easter egg little styrofoam egg painted got some glitter on it a little cute little ribbon on it on a little wood stick ready to be stuck into the styrofoam once I've created my basket now I can trim this at any height that I want to decorate my basket and there's five of them in there and it's awesome and it was only 99 or a dollar 99 cents so the dollar tree everything's 99 cents and I was at Hobby Lobby and they had an almost identical packet I don't remember I don't remember it was three of them in there or if it did have five like this does. It was a packet of three or five, let's just say. Um, of the same, pretty much the same uh, decorated egg. And it was $2.99. So it was $3 compared to $1 and I got five. I think the Dollar Tree is a great store to go to. I'm not sponsored. Poof. I've only got three viewers. Haha. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm not sponsored. So don't think I'm promoting the Dollar Tree for any other reason. That I really like shopping there. And I found this little bunny. Look how cute he is. I had them in different colors and I grabbed the pink one because I felt in the pink mood. Yes. So I got this little bunny. I don't know if I'm going to use it in the basket. I'm, if, it depends on how my little basket comes out, how much room there is for items in there. And that's what I'm going to use. And uh, other items that I will need to create my basket, obviously, is a hot glue gun with some uh, glue sticks here. I'm going to need uh, wire cutters to cut at my stems and maybe even the wood on here. And I will need scissors and I will need some floral wire. Very little left on this paddle, but I'm still gonna use it. Uh, just some floral wire. This is like about a, uh, oh, it's a 26 gauge. It's right on there. 26 gauge to wrap around my bows uh, to put into my, uh, little basket okay so let's get started I've got my balloon I actually blew up two of them one whoops and two I thought I had that's why I bought two of these little containers because I want to do the bottom of the basket and then I want to do it like a handle on this one I obviously can't do it on the whole thing because I don't want to put anything here where it's touching the rim of the, this pot because I don't want that to glue down and when I pull it off it becomes an awful mess okay so to form a basket with a string, I need to pour lots of this. Let me shake it up. I don't remember if I have to. It doesn't say, but I am going to shake it up. I need to put this balloon uh, off to the side so I can keep an eye on it. But I have a little kitty cat who might just decide to pop in here. He's a little ninja cat, so I never know. Okay, so here we go. Shake this up. And I'm going to pour it into a styrofoam, little styrofoam plate. So I'm not going to pour a lot. I'm just going to pour. Ah, hello. It's brand new. So got to do some seal removal here. Okay. Oh, okay. Got to pour some in here. You could pour it into another, in a little bowl and then just dip your string in it as you go along. Or just brush it on to your string as you go along. I'm going to remove some items. I feel like I need 
space. Plus, I want to make sure that if anything drips, I can just wipe it off and not have to worry about it dripping on my supplies. Get my little strawberry lemonade. Gotta keep hydrated while I work. Okay. So here I've got my cotton string. Now to form the bottom of the basket, I'm just gonna wrap, 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 wrap as many times as I want. Of course, the more string I put on it, the sturdier it's gonna be. Again, this is just for a, a uh, cup, you know, a week or two of decoration and I'm starting early. So I've got like a month or well, actually almost two months here to work. Well, not two months, but almost two months. Anyway, I've gone ahead and I've wet this part of the string. And I'm going to be putting the rest of it in there as I go along. And then just kind of gently squeezing some of the excess of, of that glue off as I pull it out, like so. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to start off with this raw edge up here, which will be the bottom of the basket. And I'm just going to randomly wrap it around. I'm not going to follow a pattern. You could if you wanted to. I wanted to go about about that big because I don't know in the end really how it's going to turn out. So you're just going to just get that stiffener onto the yarn and keep in mind when you do buy your little ball of yarn or little thread is that you're probably going to get some of this stuff into here. So probably don't make plans that, oh, I'm going to use some of it and the rest of it I'm going to save it for something else because you're probably going to get some glue on there and you're going to mess it up. This was $3, this roll, uh, but I got it with a 40% off uh, coupon at, uh, at Hobby Lobby. So it, uh, it ended up costing me like $1.69. So I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, I'm very frugal and I don't want to waste any money, but still, I'm okay two bucks if for the and cost of my little basket. So if I don't use some of it because it has glue on it, that's fine. Okay, so here we go. I am just wrapping it around. Oops, I want to create a, well, hello. This is a lot easier than what it looks. Um, I'm all dressed up and I don't want to, I went voting today. Yep, I went to go do my voting. So, uh, not dressed up, dressed up, but you know. Better than usual. Okay, where's the string? I don't want it that low. I don't want my basket to be way open that much. Okay, and it's okay to get glue all over this balloon. Okay, come on. I can't see what I'm doing on the other side. This is probably best done on a, on a, on a counter where you're standing and you're watching yourself. I'm going to twist this just for the heck of it. Right here and then bring that up. Okay, this is what I've done, okay? Now your edge doesn't have to be perfect because remember, you're just gonna string, 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 string constantly around. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring it back up and across. And I'm just gonna keep doing that till I have covered my balloon in string. Okay. Just gonna do that. Okay. Uh, and um, here's where you gotta be careful because you don't want it to tangle up. Just gonna keep wrapping it around. This is this kind of looking like uh you know those uh patio globes or those those sea glass uh, balls that they use in like a, maybe like in a um, look I've got I've got stuff all over the place you can't see the what I'm doing but down here but and why did I get a brush because maybe there's some spots on the yarn that I notice uh, doesn't have any uh won't have any glue on it. Not only that, but I also want to make like sure that um, like where they kind of crisscross together, but there's plenty of glue there. This plenty of this fabric stiffener, and like I said, I'm gonna make a mess, so that's okay. And I'm gonna be turning it as I go a little bit, also. 
because I'm sort of kind of here we go let's get some more now I need to pour some more of the stiffener I'm going to use this to clean up my hand because I'm okay I'm going to pour some more of the stiffener keep in mind get yourself a big bottle don't get yourself the little four ounce one this is a 16 ounce a bottle of fabric stiffener this was a $6.99 at Hobby Lobby the price will probably depend on where you're located and uh, you know the prices around your area but uh the average cost of things. I was, well, I was just gonna say it's around about six, six, uh, actually seven, seven, eight, nine bucks maybe at the most. Now, re do want to remind you that Michaels and Hobby Lobby do have a forty percent off one regular priced item in their uh, either their newspaper or you can use their apps and they have or you can just uh, use uh, your um, your browser on your phone and find the site and they'll have the coupon there that you can present to the cashier so they can take 40% off. That was another thing that I did. I did get 40% off on this. I don't recall how much it ends up costing, but uh, it took off a good three bucks and something off. Like three bucks off. So it was instead of being seven dollars, it was about four bucks. Okay, here we go. Getting, making sure my, my um, string here is that's my doggy playing down here with my kitty. Okay. You hear him? Oh, you hear her? You playing, Freya? Okay. <laughs> I put a little sticker on her forehead earlier, and I forgot about it, and I went to go do my little errands. We got home, and she still had the sticker on her forehead, and she just kept shaking her head, shaking her head. Oh, I felt so bad that I had left it on there. And you know what? The, th the thing is, that I didn't even take it off. I think my husband probably did because she doesn't have it on her anymore. Or maybe she finally did shake it off. Okay, let's keep turning this. Like I said, this is gonna. This stuff was going to drip. And some of it is dripping on the outside because there's nothing to drip on the inside. So remember, whatever little container you use, uh, a lot of the stiffener is going to get on it. So you're either going to... Try and clean it off when you're done and when it's all dried up and try to scrape it off or you're just going to say, eh, it's okay. This is going to be my little trash um, pot. And I just thought it was cute, so I figured, you know, if, it, if I can save it, at least I have a cute little pot. If not, that's okay. But I can use it for, for water, for my brushes in the future, when I'm rinsing them out, when I'm painting. So I can still use it for something. Maybe even start up some little seeds in it, a little plant. Make sure I clean it up good. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and uh, do the rest of this off camera, but I want you to see what I've been doing so far. See? And then I will come back and show you what it looks like at the point where I feel like I'm satisfied. And uh, I don't know how I'm gonna turn the camera off because I got glue all over my fingers. I'll use my knuckle. Excuse me. Boop. Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and I am back with uh, my stiffened basket, Easter basket that I'm going to be doing. And uh, I left uh, this to dry and I said I was going to see how long it took to dry because the bottle of the uh, fabric stiffener did not say how long it takes to dry and I think it might have to do with the weight of whatever medium fabric you're using. So I did wait the eight hours um, after that, uh, on that day, it was a, approximately about eight hours, maybe a little more, a little bit less around that around that time. And I checked it and this thread was still moist and it was still very, it wasn't, it, it wasn't moving around as much, but it was, it was still moist and kind of sticky. So I figured, okay, well, you know what? Eight hours is not enough. I'm gonna let it dry overnight. So I let 24 hours go by Sure enough, it was dry, but this is 48 hours now. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't come back and do this yesterday. I ended up getting caught up doing something else. So I am here back two days later, and here we are. And it's stiff, and um, well, some areas where the thread kind of drooped a little bit, or I don't know, maybe that's just how I placed it when I was uh, uh, stringing it around. But I think it has a little, real interesting looking pattern. Uh, <clears throat> I ended up having these thoughts about maybe covering it with some lace, some little doilies, maybe some lace on the edge, but I think that would be another 
tutorial. So if you'd like to see uh, me create um, a basket, it could be a flower girl basket or something for a wedding or any other occasion besides Easter, just some shabby chic decoration. If you'd like to see me do that with some lace or some ribbons and some trimmings and use a fabric stiffener with that also, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I know I don't have too many viewers and I don't have pretty much any comments at this time, except for one lovely friend. Thank you, Diana. Um, <clears throat> but um, I really would like them. Please leave some, even if they're not, don't be mean, but even if they're not so great, but maybe they're, you know, constructive criticism, hey, I'll, I'll accept it because if there's something that I'm doing that's not uh, aesthetically pleasing or something about myself that um, you don't like, let me know. Okay, so when I did this, <laughs> oh gosh. when I did this, I said, I'm going to do a little handle. So I started doing a little handle. And I didn't really know where I was going with it. It was just, a, it was like an afterthought to do a handle. And uh, yes, I'm going to show you that. I, I didn't want to. I thought I'm going to skip that, edit that part out. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it because I want to show you a uh, fail. What to do, what not to do. So here's my handle. Oops. <laughs> here's my handle. Look at that. The balloon started shrinking. And somehow this got bent up here and it's my little pattern that I sort of created that's not very attractive it's just but you know what I'm thinking maybe I can still use it I don't know we'll find out now what I'm gonna do is just use a little pin I got a little pin right a little straight pin and just poke it or use a safety pin and just poke it to start letting out the air from the balloon and you'll see that it starts shrinking and it's shrinking kind of slowly because it does have the the blue does have some of that fabric stiffener on it, some of that. So it's not going to do like a pop, like a, like a huge pop. The times that I've used it, it has not done that. And it's been a long time, but I do remember that. But it may, it may. Look, okay, isn't that interesting? It's all crinkly, the balloon. Okay, so uh, there we go. And there's the handle. And as you can see, it's, it's kind of flexible, so I'll be able to you know, move it to the size uh, that I need. Now, this could be covered up with some ribbon or something else to to make it look prettier, but um, I don't know if I like it or if I don't. It looks like a headband almost. Put a little flower on here, put a little, little girl. And as you can see, this part is, you know, I can just use a little bit of hot glue, which reminds me I gotta plug that in. So let's just do the basket now. The basket part, this is the beads. Poke it here and there. Ooh, some parts I can't poke them because that fabric stiffener is layered on there. This is so cool how this starts to happen. Now, uh, don't be surprised if when you're popping this and your balloon is shrinking, your project also shrinks in a little bit. There might be some movement to it because it's not real, real stiff. Especially something like this, it's could be collapsible. This will what? Listen, listen. Oh, it sounds like popcorn popping. That's, <laughs> that's kind of cool to have the kids kids uh, do. Have them do that if you if you do this project with some kids. Uh, allow them to uh, pop some little areas. So have them be very careful that if you have one or you know two or more kids doing it, they don't poke each other while they're doing this. Just have them you know each gently poke it and then just watch it pop off and here we go here is our basket oops here we go our little basket um isn't that pretty i could decorate in so many ways now um i want it and i will move the can a little bit go down a little bit here hopefully it doesn't fall on me i have a horrible tripod i need a new one put this pin in here for now okay um I want it to rest, you know, on my table, so the bottom part is not exactly, uh, you know, flat, so I'm going to do a little pushing down here at the bottom of it, just to kind of flatten that out a little bit, because I, I can, it's a little bit pliable here, just a tiny bit, so just do that, to see how that kind of got flat right here, I don't know if you can tell, it got flat rather than it being rounded, it got a little bit flat, it's just a little tiny bit. But it's enough uh, so that it uh, balances uh, down. Now, if if uh, you find that it's not doing that, then you can get um, a little piece of styrofoam, like uh, 
this one that I have here. You can use a little piece of styrofoam and glue that at the bottom to create a base and then just cover that up with uh, your little uh, Easter grass or your moss or whatever it is that you're using, maybe some ribbon and just cover it up so it looks pretty. Now, I'm gonna use the styrofoam on the inside because I wanna put some flowers in there and it's not a very big piece of styrofoam. As you can see, I do have another piece and I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that to kind of build it up a little bit higher. Um, but as you can see, there's lots of holes here. So I wanna be careful how I uh, put this. Now, I could wire it down into my basket, but then I don't want a whole bunch of little wires down here because I don't want it scratching the surface where I'm gonna put it. And speaking of which, if you are concerned about that, if you are concerned that this, this fabric stiffener on this little yarn has become like a, it's a little rough. It's not a smooth finish at all. Um, it does create a little bit of a rough uh, texture, not, not real bad or anything, but there is a little bit of a little fine sandpaper feel. That's the best that I, way I can describe it. Um, if you are concerned about that, you can cut out a little, a little circle the size of your little flat bottom here, maybe a little bit tiny, a little bit smaller. Cut out a little piece of uh, felt and glue it to the bottom here. And that'll also keep you from, when, when you're gonna glue down your styrofoam, that'll also keep the glue from seeping through because you'll have that little piece of felt here, which is what I'm going to do because uh, I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna put it, but uh, if I do put it on one of my tables in my living room or even on my dining room table, I don't want any possible you know, scratches. I do have little kitty cats that like to knock things over, so I mean, that could still happen. But uh, I really don't think it will damage, but if you're concerned about that, you would do that. And in any case, it's a good idea to do that so that the glue, when you place styrofoam in there, does not seep through. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my hot glue gun ready and I will be back. We're going to decorate. All right, I'm back and I've uh, got my hot glue gun plugged in and it's, uh, ready here. Um, well, maybe it's not so ready because I should have really spread out my little silicone pads here for my glue gun. Keep my count, my my surface area here safe for my glue gun. Uh, I've got these uh, silicone pads. They'll sell them right where they have the, uh, the glue guns. Uh, sometimes they have like little trays that you could actually rest your glue gun on so all the little drippings go in there. But I pick it up and I put it down so much I don't have time to, you know, place it nicely on something because uh, I put it down like real quick and pick it up real quick uh, so uh, these silicone pads are awesome anyway uh, I went to go look for some felt and I did have some felt as a matter of fact I had felt in different colors but then I also found this little uh, stiffy this is a this is a used inside of like uh, when you're uh, sewing and you're doing collars and things like that and the collars on a shirt you can put this inside to give that collar some uh, stability so it's not so floppy and that's what I'm going to use the bottom because I, I happen to have a little scrappy bit and I thought well this is awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, first I'm gonna cut out like a little square off of it and then I'm gonna more or less my the size of my the bottom of my base and my circle doesn't have to be perfect because this is gonna be at the bottom we're not gonna see it we're gonna decorate the basket so look at that that's almost a nice perfect circle now if you don't if you want to try and get a perfect circle take something like a, a spool of ribbon and then you know compare it to the bottom of your created item and then uh, if that about covers the area that you want you want then use that as your as your template and then just uh, trace around it and then of course trim and mine's almost it's a little bit larger than that so I was close Anyway, that's going to go on the bottom, so I'm going to turn this over, uh, apply some glue to the edge here. Well, you know what, I don't think my glue gun is quite ready, is it? Yeah, it is. A little, a little dollop of glue here, and in the middle a little bit. Okay, this will now go on the bottom of my basket, my base, on what I'm calling the flat side. It's not really flat, but flat enough. Okay. There we go, just place it on there. I'm looking at it, it doesn't look very centered, but if I put it down, it's right on point. Yeah, right on there, nice. Okay, so I decided to get two pieces of styrofoam. Now you can get styrofoam in different sizes at your, at your floor department of your craft store, such as Michael's or Hobby Lobby, even um, Walmart carries it. I got this at the Dollar Tree, and uh, this was a package 
of either four, maybe even five. I dare say six. It was a, I think it was four. It was four in a little packet. It's a dollar. It's awesome because it's little pieces. Sometimes you just need a small little piece to do little crafts. So these are awesome. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to need both, or, or rather two of the pieces uh, to have a nice uh, piece of styrofoam in there to put my flowers in. I don't want it too deep. Uh, so anyway, I am going to put this glue down on the bottom here and then stick it down to the bottom of my, on the inside, to the bottom of my basket. Like so, see that? It's right in there. Okay, another piece. I have, an, I have one more piece because I did use one of the pieces in something and so I have three pieces left over so I have one more piece in case I need it. And that's going to go right in there, right in the middle. Now, I'm going to take some of this um, Easter egg. Easter egg? Easter grass. Easter grass. You could use Spanish moss. You could use green uh, moss. You can use any kind of moss you want. Or you can use uh, a paper, a shredded paper uh, that you usually put like in, you know, like gift bags and such. Uh, you could use that. Uh, you can use a little Easter grass. And since I'm doing a, an Easter basket, Easter project, that's what I'm going to use. And I think it, it is really pretty. It's nice, vibrant green color. And I'm just going to tuck that in on the sides here to cover up that styrofoam. Oh, one thing I didn't mention, and I was going to mention as I, as I was starting my video, right before I decided to push record, um, I was going to mention that uh, one thing you want to do in your basket is you want to look for, you know, the glue when it dries, like little, little bits of glue of this, uh, the fabric stiffener, uh, you know, on little edges here, and just kind of flake them off. I don't know if you can see right where the tip of my finger is. There's a little bit there. So you just flake that off. There was a big piece on there, on here on the edge, and I flaked it off, and then it kind of went flying somewhere. And then I was thinking, oh shoot, I should have thought about it and I should have done it on camera. Now you're also going to have like little loosey-goosey pieces like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to find where they could have uh, hold on to and just put a little, little dot of glue there. And just hold it while it just dries real quick. There we go. Here's another piece that's kind of loosey-goosey. I'm going to put a dot of glue. I love this glue gun. It's got a little precision step. This is from Sure Bonder. I got, well, I didn't get this. This is, I got it as a gift. I didn't get it at the store. I was about to say I got it, but I didn't get it. Someone gave it to me. <laughs> okay, so this was a gift, but I know that they got it at Hobby Lobby because that's where um, I pointed it out that, that I wanted this particular glue gun and they we had a drawing at Christmas and uh, she got my name and uh, she knew exactly what to get me because I had told her I want that glue gun and I was going to come back with a 40% off coupon but then I thought you know what that's what I'm going to ask for Christmas whoever gets my name and uh, I, I didn't have to because she knew I may have reminded her I have no idea I may have said it, you know, you know, because sometimes we all mention, oh, I kind of want this and I kind of want that. And some people don't really tell you anything. You don't know what to get them. And we try to make it easy on ourselves by drawing a name so that we didn't have to spend a lot of money. And it would only be one person that we each giving to. You know, it also kind of feeds into the idea that, you know, one gift is enough. We don't need a whole bunch of gifts, you know, just a little something to, to enjoy our Christmas morning. A little gift to open from somebody. And it's, it's always fun to draw a name, and, and that way you can concentrate on that one person and give them something nice, maybe something they needed. And it never fails. It's still hard to look for something for someone because there's always that one person who doesn't have a, a hobby, or at least it's a hobby you can't afford. Uh, and so you don't know what to get them. And I feel like I feel like I'm easy. Like, if they get me, it's so easy because... You could go get me a $10 gift card from Hobby Lobby and I'll be happy. Or from Michaels. We don't have a Michaels in our town anymore. We used to have one. I actually used to work there. But I don't have one anymore. I have to drive out of town to go to it. So it has been far and few between trips to do that. So now I just go to Hobby Lobby. And um, I would... I hate to say this, but I'd rather go to Michaels. I would rather... 
shop at Michael's. But anyway, I feel like the variety is bigger. It's like if I compare my grocery store, my H-E-B grocery store to our Walmart grocery store. I feel like I like my H-E-B because they have a, a bigger variety. I mean, Walmart may have these huge bulk, but it's like of three items and you don't want any of those three items and I don't want it in bulk. Anyway, uh, that's just my little rant about that. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just continuing to look around and look for loosey goosey ends and I'm gluing them down just because I don't want them flopping around. Oh, here I see some of that glue, but it's not enough for you to see, so it's just it's just a little bit on the edge there that I'm gonna flake off there. Oh, here's one. See a little, oh, you can see that on my hand. A little flake of glue that I removed. Ah, you can't see it. Anyway, it's a little, I can see it. <laughs> I can see it in the, in the, here on the viewfinder on the camera, but um, it's not a camera. It's my phone. I'm using my phone. Um, yeah, uh, anyway, uh, well, it is a camera. It's on the phone. But anyway, um, there we go. I think, I think I've got most of the little loosey-goosey pieces. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, now let's get to decorating it because I'm so excited. And we have to decide how to decorate this. I have this little bunny. I showed you this at the beginning of the video. I don't have to explain it again because uh, even though it's two days later for me, it's not two days later for you, I hope. Uh, so here we go, a little bunny that can go in the basket somewhere on the basket here. And I'm going to put a little bit more greasy bits because I can still see a lot of the styrofoam. Now I can always tuck in some more little grass where um, wherever I'm, I see styrofoam on the top. And I would like him right about here. And I still have some styrofoam uh, visible it's where I'm gonna stick my flowers. But I'm gonna put my little bunny in there first. I don't wanna put flowers and then realize, oh, I don't have anywhere to stick him down into. Uh, so I'm gonna hot glue him down to this little edge here, of the half part of the, uh, the styrofoam here. He's kind of peeking out. Do I like that as my front the best? You know what I was thinking also? Another idea for this is make two balloons. All right, I'm sorry about that. I ran out of memory, so I had to delete some video uh, that I had already uploaded. Okay, so uh, what I was saying is that you could uh, get two balloons and wrap uh, two of the balloons. Like I did that one balloon for this, but maybe don't go uh, so far down onto the balloon. Maybe just halfway so you can create two of these. And don't straighten the little edges like I did. Like I pushed them upward. Let's leave them kind of curvy and ragged because that'll make it look like two eggshells, like two, like an egg that's been cracked in half, and you got these little jagged edges. And then you can maybe put the other uh, part of the egg uh, form off to the side, like it's the lid, like it cracked open, and inside is a little, a cute little bunny with some little flowers or whatever you want to put in there. Maybe some candies. It'll be pretty in there. Okay, um, the other thing is that uh, once you've blown up your balloon, you could also cover the whole thing in string and you will create one solid piece. Not Well, not solid because obviously it's not solid you know, all the way through, but what I mean is like one continuous piece of uh, which will be an egg shape sort of in, on your balloon and then you would uh, obviously rest it with the, um, um, the rounded part into your little bowl and then the top of the balloon is going to have that sort of an egg shape to it so it's going to form an egg shape and then what you can do is once it's dry and you pop your balloon and you poked it out of there pulled it out of there is you can then cut a little hole into it and then you know trim it with some ribbon or something and then reach in just where your your hand can reach in and decorate inside of it and you'll have a little easter egg um out of that anyway uh, it's going to be very delicate so don't expect it's going to be like really durable and hard it's going to be very delicate if you want to put this away you can remove the items that are inside and stuff it with some uh, craft uh, paper some newspaper something uh, that'll keep it in its form and then put it in a little safe box where um, then you can put it into something else uh, this is not this is not something that's oh like oh yeah this is gonna last me you know i'm gonna be a grandma my grandkids are gonna I don't know. Maybe it could could happen that way if you take really good care of it. It'll get nice and antique looking, okay? All right, so I'm gonna, I've, I've glued my little bunny in there. I did that while I was, I don't know what I was waiting for. But I did that, and I glued him down. You could pin him down with some floral uh, pins or floral U pins. Now, I've got my flowers that I got at my craft store, and I am going to start uh, adding some flowers in here. And I'm going to start with what I feel is 
my highest point. And I've removed my flowers that I had here in the background because I want a clean background so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so here we go. I'm going to start off with this stem that has all these little pink little flowers. And I'm going to uh, remove some of them. Some of them are just easy to peel right off or you might have to use your wire cutters. I'm going to take this off also. I'm going to take this one piece here and I'm going to decide, you know, how tall do I want this little arrangement. I want it to be about so high. So I need to trim my stick right there. I'm going to cut that off with my wire cutters. Now there's a lot of little wires in there. I'm going to cut that off and I'm left with this piece here. Okay. That's going to be my height. I'm going to remove some of that tape there. And I'm going to put plenty of glue. Now you don't have to glue it down. Okay. And I probably suggest that you don't if you want to remove all of this out of here. And I'm going to put it as far to the back as I can, making sure the pretty side is full, facing forward, and stick it into my styrofoam. Oops, sorry, there's a little flower guy in the way. It's in my styrofoam. Okay, there we go. All right, and then I've got all these other little pieces as well. I'm going to put them to the side because I am going to put them in my arrangement. This is the highest point of my um, arrangement. I have to bend these back a little bit. Okay. Little flowers. They have wire in them so they can be manipulated a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so now I'm going to put this pretty yellow Xenia Daisy. I don't know what it is. Oh my goodness. Oh, forgive me. That always happens. It always happens to me. I always knock over my my cam, my phone on this tripod because it's not a very good one. Forgive me. Um, someday, if I feel like this is really going somewhere, I will invest in something better. Ah, I will work towards fixing that. Okay, so this is what I want to put in here. And I want to put this at about that height. So I want to make sure I have enough of the bottom here to go into my styrofoam. Trim that off. And that's what I've cut. Some glue on the little tip. I want to put that in front of that one. And I can tuck that behind there. Like. There we go. Now uh, I've created my height. And now what I'm doing is I'm going to now fill this bottom part. And I've got this pretty green. Let's get that one. And I've got another one of these yellow. I like to buy things in odd numbers. Not really even numbers, but for some reason I ended up buying two of these. And I should have bought three. I wasn't thinking. I was just thinking that I wanted different flowers and different colors. And because of the price, I grabbed two of these. And they were at 50% off at my, grow, at my craft store at Hobby Lobby. So you want to look for that when the floral stems are half off. And they're half off pretty often. It's pretty much like every other week. So if they're not on sale the week that you go to, you can almost bet that they will be on sale the week out, the week after. I'm going to put this one here. So I'm going to add some glue to that. I'm going to look behind here and tuck it in. And I'm kind of manipulating it a little bit and bent it. So there we go. So now I've created, if you can see that, it's sort of a V or a triangle. That's what I'm going to do. I want to fill this little area here now. And I've got this pretty green flower. And this is kind of an odd one. The way the, uh, the texture of this is kind of rubbery. Really odd. But it feels realistic. Get my little scissors and trim that off. And it didn't trim it off. Well, goodness gracious. It just trimmed off like a little layer. A little. I'm trying to remove this label. Okay. I think I've got it all. Yeah. Okay. A little piece, a little bitty bit right there. This, this feels really interesting. It almost feels real stem on this. That's another thing you want to do is when you're when you're uh, making a floral arrangement 
you know, they don't all have to be, you know, the same, uh, from the same uh, brand, the same maker. But you do want to kind of look for the stems to sort of kind of uh, be realistic or as equal to each other as possible. Because you don't want to put like a really nice realistic one and then a little cheapy little plastic uh, flower next to it that uh, obviously doesn't, you know, coordinate. So you want to look for flowers that kind of look natural, that have a very uh, soft appeal to them that would look realistic. Okay, I'm going to trim this off of here because it's too tall. It'll be too much to stick into my styrofoam and I'm seeing that it's still too much to stick into my styrofoam. My styrofoam is about right here uh, in comparison to my basket so I have this whole bit to stick in and I don't really want that much to stick in so I'm going to trim some of that off. That's how I'm deciding. And I'm going to put this right in front here push that in okay come on honey and the thing about this one this this flower it has a very realistic feel to it but so it also has that droopiness to it that a real like if you were to put a real flower in here it would actually kind of drip a little bit and then it has this little cute little bud I'm gonna put that to the side and I'm just making sure that uh, the little grassy little grassy bits are kind of clear of where I'm adding things and then I had this little part where I cut off from the bottom of this one and uh, it's got a nice little leaf that I can use so I'm just going to trim off a little bit of this little post here I don't need that and just cut, kind of create a little, little bit there that I can stick in here so I can have that leaf right there isn't that pretty there we go and then all I gotta do is now just fill it in with some of these, maybe a little more of this leaf. I have uh, these other blue flowers that I can use as well to add some blue into it. Um, before I do that, I showed you these little eggs at the beginning. And I wanna use this pretty blue one because I wanna really get some blue in there. I'm gonna put that in there and the stick is just long enough to stick it right in here. Make sure the little bow is kind of showing. Little bows are, I, to me, like they, some of them are like upside down. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna use this pink one, kind of on this side. I'm gonna trim a little bit of the wood because I want it to be at a lower position. And I've got pink going on on this side, so I'm just adding some pink over here to kind of balance it off. I don't want to hide my bunny. Manipulate my flowers so, so he's not hiding. I want him tucked in there, but I don't want him hiding. Okay, I want to put a little. Do I want to do that? I'll wait. I'm going to use two of these uh, eggs in my arrangement for now because I do have the bunny and I'll think about those at the end. Okay, so now I'm going to fill it in with some of these uh, little pink ones. They're so cute, so pretty. And um, let's see, just fill in little areas where I feel like I need a little something here in the front I feel like I need some more back here let's move this around back here there's negative space here where there's right back here I'm shaking it around so you can see what I did so far. It's not a lot of flowers. It's just a few little flowers. Now, this is going to be resting on, I believe, I'm gonna, I might put this on my dinner table, my, my diner, or diner. I don't have a diner. On my diner table, my dining table. So um, this is going to kind of get seen from all sides. So I am going to put another little egg on this side. I'm going to use this pretty yellow. And... I think I'm just going to leave the height of it. There we go. Kind of kind of at an angle sticking out. And then I'm going to get, take my little flowers that I've trimmed here and put those around him or it. Come on. Let's, you know what? I think I'm going to separate them because the wire is not very, uh, very uh, stiff or hard, you know, or I don't know how to call it what else to call it but it's not very strong so it kind of folds as I'm trying to push it in and because there's 
little grassy bits of this little grass bits that kind of get in the way it's kind of hard to push it in so I have to make sure that I move them out of the way and in order to do that I need a nice little poke in on this put some glue in there okay get that in there come on baby you can do it all right there we go let me get some I wanted some flowers to kind of be on this side I'm going to twist this a little bit so that the flowers are kind of like on every side look at that okay that's it I'm not going to do any more um, I was thinking about maybe putting this little leaf in there and I think I will tuck it in there into the styrofoam you kind of have to get your fingers in there so you want to make sure that the other items that you've tucked in but the glue is already dried because when you stick your finger in there, you're going to get some of that glue on your finger and you're going to burn yourself. So make sure you're careful when you're doing that. And I like to keep a little bucket of water. I haven't done that because I'm that, I don't do a lot of floral design, so I'm not used to it. But uh, when I was doing that, I kept a bucket of uh, water. And you know those little ice packs that you can get at your first aid area, you know, in your drugstore or like in the drug uh, first aid area of your Target, Walmart, or so forth? Um... They have little ice packs, so you can keep those in the freezer, and then what you can do is you can pop one into a little bucket with some water, and you get some cold water sitting in the side, so that if you do get any glue on your fingers, quickly stick your hand in there, and that'll just dry that glue up quick, and you can peel it off. Do not peel off any hot glue off your fingers when it is still hot and wet. Stick it in there quick, and even if you do get it on your finger, just blow on it as much as you can. That's another thing you can do. I see a little dot going. Oh, that's my little recording thing. I thought it was this. Anyway, um, I saw something blinking. Okay, so here we go. Enough of that. Uh, just don't pull off any hot glue off your, a big old mess off your hand. It's just going to peel your skin off. So be very careful. Put it in some cold water. If you have kids around, make sure you have that bucket of cold water. Okay, here we go. That's it. I'm going to put some more little grasses in there. And now I want to put a ribbon. So I'm going to get some more of this little grass. And I'm going to make sure that I tuck in and cover um, make sure that styrofoam isn't showing and I don't want a lot of this little stemmy bits showing so cover that up I don't want to cover my bunny okay. you know it was a dollar a little bunny I got him at the Dollar Tree nothing expensive and he looks really nice in there once you've created your, your, you see things and you're like, oh, that's cheap. I don't want to use that. I want to use just top quality items. And I can be like that. But you know what? Sometimes you see something and you're like, it's sort of passable, decent. So I'm going to try it. And you get it and you bring it home and you combine it with something really nice, uh, like these flowers. And it actually makes it look really pretty. He's really pretty in there. Look at that. Now you could get a little stuffed one, a, little, a more um, something a little bit more of a quality. If you want to just say that, you know, let's just be real. Some of y'all are gonna be like, "Oh, I don't know, shop at Dollar Tree," but uh, even those ladies that have a lot of money, I know, I've seen you at the Dollar Tree. I know you go in there. Anyway, because um, even even that, you still don't want to spend a lot of money. Okay. That's why you have a lot of money. Okay. Anyway, um, the bunny looks really cute. That's my point. He was from the Dollar Tree, and he looks cute, and he may have been a little bit mean, naughty or nasty looking at the bottom, but I didn't care. We made him look nice, and so now we want to put a bow. And I've got these two ribbons, and I didn't know which one to use. And, of course, I made that handle. Where did I put it? I made that handle because I was going to put this handle on my basket, you know, glue it on but then I didn't like the way uh, it ended up coming out and actually when it's kind of tucked in there it does look kind of okay but you know what I, all I had to do was just hot glue this down to the edge here and the same on the other side and of course the handle would only be there as decoration it's not going to be a handle that I would that I would li use to lift up my basket does it look okay do you think I should you know what I'm going to leave it on there but I'm not going to glue it on just so I could kind of look at it and decide should I <laughs> I don't know if I like it I like the idea of the handle I just don't like the handle 
you know what let's just skip that let's just not use it because I don't like the handle okay but if you can if you make it a lot prettier than I did go ahead and just use it it's a good idea you can deny it was a good idea but mine was kind of on the quick and I was tired <laughs> well no excuses it just didn't come out good all right um, I've got this ribbon. I also got this at the Dollar Tree. Yes. Look at this pretty ribbon. 99 cents for three yards of ribbon. Normally, I pay, you know, five, six dollars for a roll of three yards of ribbon. Unless there's a 50% off or something. Especially this wide. And this has wire on the edge, which is awesome. And for 99 cents, wow. And of course, the fabric is not of the highest quality, but this is a seasonal decoration. It's something that I'm going to put away. I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. And you know what? It's perfectly fine. Now, it doesn't have any blue in it. That's the only thing that I didn't like. But it's okay. It'll work. So to make a bow, I'm going to decide that I want a tail about that long. Pinch it. Twist it. Make my loopy. I don't want a big old loopy because I don't want a too big of a bow. A little bit smaller. That's about three inches. Let's see. Gosh, good. That's three inches all together. That's six inches. Twist. Always with the pretty side up. Make another little loop on the other side. Pinch it. Twist it so you always have the pretty side up. And how many loops? That all just depends on how long would you want to do. I'm going to do five. So pinch it right here. And usually with three yards I can make a really nice bow with like six loops in it. Six or seven loops depending. I'm going to do five. Okay and then twist and then I'm going to decide that oh that's how much long uh, how long I want the other tail. So trim it off at that point and take your floral wire and I want a nice long piece because I'm going to use that same wire to tie it onto my basket. I'm not going to hot glue it. I am just going to tie it around, twist my bow so that my wire gets twisted down that way, not this way. Now look, look, I have this piece of wire that I'm going to use to tie it right there. And I'm going to do it on this side, right about right here. Twist it on, and then I can just poof my bow, poofy my bow. Okay, I'm gonna fold this in half here. Cut from the outer edge into the center, upward into the center. Get this little, little edge, this little edge like that. Okay, twist this so the pretty side is upward. Fold it in half, like so, and then cut at the outer edge towards the center, upward, like so, so that when you open it, you have that, okay? And you don't have to have that <laughs> when you do your, you can just cut it at an angle, or just cut and cut, that's fine, but that's just the way to do that if you didn't know. Okay, so there's my bow, and it's so pretty, and uh, I don't want to cover, I don't want it to hide my bunny. So if you've made a bow and you feel like, oh, the bow's a little too big, don't take it off and redo it. Just, just uh, right down the center, pinch down on it, bring it in, pinch and bring it in. See what I'm doing? So I'm pinching it. Pinching it and then boring it in. Same on this one. Same on that one. After a while, you get you kind of you look at it from the side. Well, you can't really tell, but you'll have like a little heart shape, and that's how you know that you pinched it. Okay. So then just poof your bow a little bit more, so it's not so crushed after you've done all that pinching, and you've actually almost made it look like it has actually more loops to it when all you've done is pinched it and then my ribbon also I want to do a little bit of a little bit of a pinching here and there so I don't want to just stick out you know straight like that okay so let's hold this up 
so that you can see the bow. It's a cute little bow on the side of my basket, and that'll go really pretty on my table. I can put this at a at a side table in my living room, and uh, maybe you have a uh, table behind your, you know, that runs along the back of your couch, or your, you have something in your entry, or on your dining room table, or even on your kitchen counter. This will look really pretty. It's just a little idea. You can do anything you want in there. You can add some bigger uh, plastic uh, Easter eggs, maybe some that you've decorated. And I've still got some of this left over, and I haven't even used this blue. Oh my goodness, I really wanted to use this, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, let me let me snip off some pieces. Where's the blue flower part? Here we go. <laughs> I really wanted to use this, so I don't want to forget that. Okay. Maybe because I felt like my arrangement was complete as it is. I'll put this one towards the back and... You'll see it kind of pop up from behind this, and you'll also see it in the back. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and use it as long as this is. Okay. I wish I had remembered before I put all this little grass inside. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh, that's good. We'll save some of these little pieces and listen for something else. I actually want to recycle these little flowers, and I have a beautiful vase that a friend of mine sent to me it's beautiful like a picture in a bowl it's really beautiful very uh shabby chic vintage uh style of a uh, type of a uh, picture and bowl and uh i have that on my dining room table right now and it's got so i have some fresh flowers in there but i went ahead and i put some flowers that i already happen to have and i i thought well these flowers that i'm using in the in here and more of that i have over here on the side i'm actually going to put them in that vase later after Easter but for now this I use them here for this project so that you could see that you can create yourself a little basket now if you want it you can um, add some another bunny or a, maybe like little chicks put them on the bottom here those little even those little cute little fluffy little velour I don't know what they are little chenille kind of a uh, little chicks that they also sell that are so cute you could tuck them in they would look so pretty in there the kids would think it's really a cute little thing uh, you know, just make sure they know it's not a, not a toy or whatever. But anyway, that would make such a great, also such a great little gift to take to someone. Maybe someone staying in the hospital, someone in a nursery would appreciate that. Maybe the nursery itself would appreciate this at their entry. Uh, your friends, uh, your teacher, to keep on her on her desk if she's allowed to have Easter in her room. Uh, I don't see why not. This is nothing religious here. It's just a little bunny and some Easter eggs, really, and it's flowers. So it's not really anything. Uh, specifically religious um, it's just really cute um, you could take it to someone's office uh, you know just a little gift that you could give to someone it would make a it just be nice to uh, send this or give this to somebody and that is my basket tutorial and uh, I hope you enjoyed it if you have any ideas and what you would do different with this um, arrangement let me know like I said at the beginning, not at the beginning, but uh, sort of in the middle here when I started today. Um, if there's something uh, about me that you want to suggest, something different, uh, please don't be mean. Uh, I know I'm fat. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me I'm ugly. I know that. Uh, just maybe if I'm doing something that, oh, that's kind of distracting, um, let me know. And, you know, please don't let it be physical. Come on. Let's be nice. Okay, so that's just basically what I'm saying. If you can leave a comment and let me know what you would like me to uh, show you. If you have an idea, something that you've seen that you want me to try, something maybe from Pinterest that you've seen, which is really what I want to get into. If there's something on Pinterest uh, craft, and sometimes they have links to how to create the item. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they want to see somebody else talking it through you if you enjoy the way that I talk through it and you want me to do that give me that challenge for a Pinterest item and uh, I want to do that either whether you put it on my Facebook or whether you put it on my YouTube which I'd rather you do it on my YouTube um, in the comments let me know and uh, also if you have a, an idea that you've done and you want to share go right ahead and put your link down at the bottom and uh, some other people can now then see it there and then uh, view your uh, tutorials because uh, I'm all about sharing ideas I'm all about you know 
learning and teaching and learning. So I hope you enjoyed this again. <laughs> little Easter basket. Get in there. Little bunny. Flowers. Thumbs up, please, and please subscribe. And as always, enjoy.